things you do in a college dorm. I feel like a chef right now. Why is this so good? Hey guys, it's Totally Taylor, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some easy and cheap lunches or snacks to do in your dorm room. Like when I say these are easy and cheap, I truly mean they are easy and cheap. Like they only have like one or two items and they're actually super good and I love these hacks. But before we get started, please guys go hit the subscribe button. Oh my gosh, we reached 100K. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for all your support and love. This is so cool. All right. And also, I feel like I have to like tell you guys this. My tapestry came in. So now I don't have the blank wall behind me. So now I have like this cute little air Area now I feel like my room's really becoming complete you know we got the tapestry I think I'm waiting on one or two more things and then I think my room will be complete snack number one you're gonna be making a quesadilla in your room I love them so much that I would literally eat them for breakfast lunch and dinner like for reals though so let me show you guys how you can make a quesadilla in your dorm room okay first we're gonna need is some plates tortillas obviously and then what else do you think is left cheese Cheese, that's it. We got our plates, and then you're gonna need your tortillas. This is actually a huge tortilla. Um, I thought I ordered smaller ones. You guys know how to make a cheese quesadilla. If not, I'll show you. So, I got the Mexican style blend. Oh, they're a little bit cold. <gasps> oh no, I just got cheese all over my floor. All right, cheese. Okay, I'm dropping cheese everywhere. My roommate's gonna come back in. And she's gonna be like, what the frick was going on here? And I'm gonna be like, all right, now that you have like a good amount of cheese, all you do is you place another tortilla and bam. And now time to go put it in the microwave. Let's go. We open it up. Make sure it's kind of flat down. Let's start with just one minute. Oh yeah, this feels warm. Let's head back. Oh yes, where all the cheese is on my floor is melted. Perfect. So I'm gonna kind of like let it cool down a little bit because it is actually extremely hot we're gonna let that cool down real quick also if you have silverware or if you have silverware from like the dining hall you can cut this in the little triangles isn't it cute i'm so excited also if you guys want to like dip it in something and you guys have a dining hall pass or whatever you can literally at least in mine they usually have either like salsa sour cream or guacamole somewhere so you can easily get those make your quesadilla and voila all right let's do the taste test are we ready Mmm. Oh my gosh. It literally tastes like a quesadilla. Awesome. Another little tip is you can add meat in it. Like you can, at least, and again, at our dining hall. I don't know about other people's dining hall. But you can, there's this grill section where you can get like a grilled chicken. You could easily like cut up the chicken, put it in here, get it, and then... This is just perfect. I love this. This will like be my new snack, like at 12 a.m. when my when I have no food. I'll make myself a quesadilla. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one. All right, so this next one is kind of more of a hack instead of cooking. It's a pre-made salad kit. Like these are just amazing because you have everything inside. The lettuce. It comes with the croutons. Comes with the crumbles. It comes with the shredded Parmesan cheese. Amazing. And then also, if you do have a dining hall and you want to up this again with the grill station and the grilled chicken or you can even do crispy chicken like it's so easy oh my goodness this is a lot of lettuce i'm getting it all over the floor again here's the kit bag for all of them Ooh, they're croutons crush the cheese and then the dressing so you guys need to get on you guys need to get on pre-made salad kits so the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is how to upgrade your ramen noodles. I am obsessed with ramen noodles. I swear, I eat it like once a day now. It's so good. And my dining hall closes at like, what, 8? Okay, so when it becomes like 10 or 11, I'm like really hungry for a snack. This, this is good. But I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade it. We got the ramen, and this is the one where you pour the water into it. But I don't have hot water to pour in this. I just usually fill it up with water and then put it in the microwave for three minutes. It works. So I fill it up to the line with the water, flows it up, and now I'm going to go microwave it for three minutes. I cooked the noodles, and then I also drained the water because you kind of need your noodles. Not You don't need them in water. We're going to turn them into five 
peanut noodles with peanut butter and soy sauce. And you guys are probably thinking, uh, Taylor, that mixture right there does not look good. Trust me. We're gonna start with this much. And this is just for one packet of noodles. We don't need to put in that much. I feel like a chef right now. We're definitely gonna need some more peanut butter. <laughs> so let's grab some more peanut butter. The things you do in a college dorm. Story time real quick. So one of my friends, for breakfast, they had, you know the things that we've done, like you've seen YouTubers do the pancake challenges on? My friend bought one of those and literally made bacon. Bacon in her room. She also made pancakes. Literally she made bacon and pancakes in her room. Oh my gosh, and then we had a little bit of soy sauce to finish it off. Also guys, you don't have to buy the bottle. If your dining hall has the packets of soy sauce, Grab them. Guys, you know, you know, you paying a lot of money. You paying a lot of money for that dining hall, so why not, why not use it to your advantage? I filled up the cap. Just put it in there, and then you mix it up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys. These are starting to look so good. Don't do my mistake and drain all the water. You want to do most of the water, 85% of the water, but then leave with some left, so it's easy to mix it up. All noodles already. Cheers, guys. Plunk. What, how am I supposed to eat this long noodle? Like, I'm like, ah, <laughs> get on there. That's so good. Oh my God. They literally taste like thigh peanut noodles. Like it's like a different flavor regular from ramen. And it's so good. It's like the soy sauce and the peanut butter like counteract each other. It's just so freaking good. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna literally start upgrading my noodles like this all the time. Why is this so good? Even if you're not in college, you need to try this right now. For this last one, it is another hack. This one is so cool and I actually have not tried this one yet. Brownie mix that you can mix just in this container with just water. All you need is this and some water. $1.75 for a brownie mix. So it doesn't say to put it back on. Okay, so I take it all the way out. That smells so good. Okay, look. Those big chunks are the uh, chocolate pieces. So it looks like that. And now it says to add four teaspoons. The only thing is I don't have measuring stuff here. So how do I, how much is four teaspoons? It looks like today guys, we are gonna be guessing. Okay, so let me go add about four teaspoons of water. I'm not, not sure how much to add, but we're just gonna do it. I think I added the enough water, if not, I think we can tell by the batter. Oh, oh no, oh no. I think I added way too much because it's so runny. I made something so easy turn out not so good because I don't know how much four teaspoons is. I mean, that looks like brownie mix, right? All right, now microwave for 60 to 75 seconds. All right, guys, I am back. Oh my god, this smells so good! Okay, I'm actually really excited about this, guys. The batter was about to hear and it rised up to here here like that's pretty decent so this is what it looks like moment of truth she's soft but you can see she's obviously like cooked cheers Clunk. oh my god that is so good it's super easy to make oh my god it tastes like heaven this is literally the best thing i've ever had the thigh peanut noodles was pretty good but nothing nothing can top chocolate i hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys need need to try out these food hacks even if you're in college you're not in college these are just good food hacks do it right now go to the store get yourself some peanut thigh noodles and a brownie full of love go do it right now stay beautiful stay positive and i'll see you guys in the next video bye